Right, we're going to look at the solid geometry of the cylinder. It's been cut by this cutting plane AA over there. Um, first thing, make sure that that circle that you draw at the beginning is done in a construction line. I've done it in red. Um, yeah, please don't do that as a dark line straight away because you'll see that the cutting plane actually cuts through the base of that cylinder, which means that not all of it is going to be done in dark. Right. To start this, well, our first step is to break our circle up into its 12 parts. Just do construction lines going across this circle at the bottom over here using your set square. Just break it up into 12 parts. There we go. And as soon as you've done that, just number it. So I've got number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve over here. Right. Once I've got my numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, I then take those same same numbers going up to the top over here. I'm just going to draw little lines going up here in red from all of these points that we've got going up over here just construction line lines going up all right and from that well we can see where number one would be down here coming up there number 12 and number two is at that point. Number three and 11 is over there. Number four and number 10 is over here. Number five and number nine. Number six and number eight. And number seven is at that corner over there. Right. Okay, once I've got those numbers placed along there, you don't need to label these ones at the top here. In fact, they're going to be cut away so we don't really need to worry too much about them. What we do need to find out is where my cutting plane is cutting through all of these lines that are coming up here. So I'm just going to drop a line coming straight down from where that cutting plane cuts through the base over there. Okay, And you can see that I've got two points over there and over there. Let's label those. I'm going to label that point A and point B over there. Okay, point A and B, well, I've got B at the back over there, A at the front over here, and I now need to look at where the cutting plane cuts through these lines going up here. So we've got number 3 and 11 cuts through at that point. Let's call that number C and number D at the back there. Let's see where it cuts through 4 and 10. Let's call that number E. And number F cuts through 9 and 5 over there. Let's call that G and H. It cuts through number 8 and number 6 over there. Let's call that I and J. I and J. Sounds like the fish. And uh, number 7. Let's call that K over there. All right, so I've got letters over here as to where the cutting plane is cutting through these vertical lines coming up from these points down at the bottom. All right, so uh, let's just have a look and see what that cutting plane looks like on the top over here. We know that it has cut through over there, which means that there is going to be a nice dark line drawn across there. And now I need to draw with a pair of compasses a nice dark line coming around here because it is cutting through all of these points at the top. Right, let's just draw that and then we're going to label all of those points. There we go, that's all nice and dark. As I said, don't draw, don't draw the construction line right at the beginning as a dark line. And you see that part of the circle, that's not being done in dark. Why? Because it's actually been cut away 
and the top part has been removed. Remember, if I've got my little eagle looking down, it wants to be able to see that cutting plane over there, so that part has been removed. Let's just label the, the corners. We've got A and B over there. We've got C over there, and we've got D over there. We've got E over there. We've got F over there. We've got G over here. We've got H over there. We've got I over here and J over there. And we've got K over there. Note, K is above number seven. There's number seven and K is above it. Six is over there, six is over there, J is above it, J is above it, etc., etc. As you can see, I've put all the numbers and the letters on this top view. Right. Um, now, drawing the left view, um, that's fairly easy um, in that we actually don't need to transfer all of these numbers. I'm going to transfer like three of these numbers maybe, um, but if I'm cutting this at a 45 degree angle, as they've told me to, okay, so I've used a 45 degree set square, 45 degrees, okay, let's just show you that. There's my 45 degree set square, and the cutting plane is exactly at 45 degrees. I actually will end up with a perfect circle on my left view. Let me show you how that works. Right, um, I'm going to start out and I'm going to say, well, which lines um, will create the center for this thing. There's my center line going up and it cuts over there at EF. So I'm going to take that across over here. Let's just take that across with a nice red line. Okay. Um, and uh, the top point that it's going to cut through is at K. So I'm going to take that across. Right. Um, I have two other points that I'm going to take across using my pair of dividers. Let me just find those quickly. Pair of dividers. Okay, I'm going to come along here and I'm going to take point B from the XY axis to point B. I come across to my new XY axis and place that down over there. And I have got point B over there. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take my measurement from the x, y axis to where A is over there. Come across to my new x, y axis. Plant that down over here. There is point A. Let's just take that measurement again. I think that I've got a slight. There we go. Take that. Make sure that you measure off very, very accurately over here. There is point A. Note, A is furthest away from the XY axis. A is furthest away from the XY axis. B is closest to the XY axis, and B is still closest to the XY axis. Right, the other two points that I'm going to find, um, well, that would be this one over here. Let's go for F, okay? Distance, sorry, um, not F, E, okay? Distance from E, go up here, find E, come across here. Place that down over there. There is point E. F. There's that distance from F. Take that across. Place that down over there. Label it as F. And K. Let's see. There's the distance from K. Take that across. And place that down there. All right, there's K. Okay, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take this distance from the center. From the center, note it's the same distance as K, isn't it? If I come over here to where E and F is, the distance from the center is exactly in between E and F. I'm going to come across there and I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to mark off my center. If I take my pair of compasses now and I draw Note the circle, there it is, and it starts at A, goes through E perfectly, goes through K perfectly, goes through F perfectly, and it ends up at B. 
there is my cutting plane for my left view. I can take any of these measurements over here. Let's take uh, J for instance. There's J. If I come across to J, let's take a line going across from J. Let me take that across. There's J. Take it across to the new X, Y axis. And there's J. You can see how J can be transferred over there perfectly at that point. And we could label it if we wanted to J. I wouldn't even bother putting all of those points in. I know that that circle that I've drawn there will cut through every single point perfectly. If you wanted to, you could take these lines across and label them. It's not really necessary though. Right. Okay, once I've done that, our next video, I'm going to show you how to get the true shape of the cutting plane. And that would be if I was standing over here, looking up at the cutting plane over there, what would I see over there? as far as the true shape of the cutting plane. Right, at the moment, what have I got? Well, I'm standing on this side. Well, I don't even have a little man to show that. There I am, I'm standing on this side. I'm looking across because it's a first angle orthograph projection. Whatever I see over here, I'm going to draw over there. The bird looking down, whatever I see as the cutting plane. Remember that part has been removed. That's what's going to be there. And obviously you need to do the hatching on this. I'm going to do that very, very quickly. There we go. Draw that with a nice 0.3 pencil and uh, you should end up with a perfectly, oops, I should not be hatching that part. Just go up to the edge of the, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, don't hatch past there because that would be incorrect. It's just to uh, rub that out. Right, okay. Those are, that's the hatched surface and I can hatch this surface as well, showing that I have sectioned through that part over there. Just hatching very, very rapidly. go and obviously finish off the base over there between point A and B.